kombinovaná reakce na Jebbyho, který jak známo k everything a byl okraden, nevím kým, nevím o co, jistě se to dozvíme, Jebby je obvykle velmi věcný a následně dukloková reakce, na kterou jsem taky celkem zvědavý. Protože se u nás běžně nestává, že by jako český influenceři takhle přímo reagovali na zahraniční události, takže je to zajímavé a neobvyklé. Tak, pojď Jerry. Got something a little bit different for you today. A video I never thought I'd have to make. There's a company, a company you've all heard of, and a company worth probably close to a billion dollars that's stealing my stuff. And today we're going to fight back the way Uncle S- Tak. Tak teď jsem teda jako hodně slušně nabejtěný, protože jako kdo, kdo by mohl odpovídat tomuhle popisu, to mě teda úplně nenapadá. No samozřejmě, pokud pominu jako nějaký šílený čínský piráty, který jako můžou být worth close to one billion, ale jako to nic nemění na tom, že jsou to především čínský piráti. Názdar Zdeňku, čus, 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 ahoj. Co znamená do brzkého rána? No to znamená, že tady budeme do pěti do rána. No? Abych věděl, jak často si budu vařit kafe. Ale nevím, Zdeňku. Těžko říct. Jo, jako... Já tady budu, dokud nespadnu pod stůl a pravděpodobně ještě chvíli potom. Takže jako... počítej s tím, že často. Case Defy is still in my stuff. And the story of how I found out is rather fascinating. It all started back in December of 2019 when I decided to upgrade mm -hmm. my cell phone. I went from a Galaxy S8 to a Note 10 Plus and little did I know that that upgrade was going to land us in court. It was that exact day when I launched the Teardown skin with my friends over at Dbrand. Teardown is obviously a line of cases and skins that show the inside of mm -hmm. your device on the outside. It's kind of what I do, and Dbrand and I go to extreme. Jo, v pohodě, mám tu šest sáčků po 250 gramech, tak to chvíli vydrží. Tak to je super. Dokonce tady mám Prime, takže si možná dáme ochutnávku. Dream links to an... Jin, jinak, jako, jinak jako ty Jerryho teardown skiny jsou docela pěkná věc. Jo, jako nevím teda, jestli je to úplně originální, jo, jako jestli to vyloženě vymyslel, ale jako rozhodně je to neobvyklý. To ensure that every teardown skin is an accurate representation of what's actually on the inside. But that also doesn't stop us from sneaking in a few easter eggs for people to find. For example, on the back of this Galaxy S23 Ultra ribbon cable, it says glass is glass and glass breaks. Definitely not something <laughs> Samsung would ever put inside their device. But that is something I say very often, and we toss a few of these treats onto every skin. These Easter eggs are going to be extraordinarily important here in a second because extraordinary claims of theft require extraordinary proof. Luckily for me, though, Casetify is more like the Home Alone thieves and less like the Ocean's Eleven thieves. <laughs> Jerry, nebuď zlej, ty vole. But I'll get to that. Keep in mind that this is a true partnership between Dbrand and I. We share profits like partners and we're constantly growing the product line and figuring out which devices to support next. Since that launch in December of 19, we've supported over 100 devices with teardown skins and we'll keep going as long as you support us or until Apple stops making iPhones, whichever comes first. But let's go back. What did Casetify do to warrant all of this negativity? Well, back when Twitter was still called Twitter, someone tagged Dbrand in a post pointing out that Casetify was selling a Samsung Galaxy S23 phone case with the internals of an iPhone. 
And not only that, every single product they were selling was using the exact same iPhone image. The average person might not have been able to spot the error, but anyone watching my channel could have spotted the internal differences from a mile away. Dbrand being Dbrand took a little shot at Casetify, which is fine, just a little Twitter banter between companies. Dbrand and I continue along our merry way making accurate teardown products while Casetify is dressing up androids like iPhones. No big deal. I thought that was the end of it, but it wasn't. A few months go by and we get tagged in another tweet. Ja, jako tohle to samo o sobě by pravděpodobně nebylo jako nic proti ničemu. Jo, prostě nevím, jestli Jerry má patentovanou jako tu samotnou myšlenku prsknout takovejhle obrázek na pouzdro, pouz, pouzdro od telefonu, jo, jako, ale, ale předpokládám, že pravděpodobně nikoli a jako tím pádem mu vlastně jako nic neukradli. Takže jako so far so good. Hmm? Ty současný prajmy, ty současný. Dneska jsem ho koupil. I found a product like Teardown, but more expensive. Clicking the link, it takes us to a landing page for a new product line from Casetify called Inside Out. And when you click to the website, check it out. They did it. A much more accurate look at the insides, and normally I'd be very proud of Case to Five for actually taking the effort to actually portray the insides, because I'm not the only... You know. Jo, jo, jasně. Já asi tuším, k čemu to směřuje. Jo, jako oni prostě opráskli nejenom střeva těch telefonů, ale jako prostě opráskli uh, úplně, úplně otrocky, prostě bez duše, bez ničeho, jako zero effort style, opráskli ten kompletní Jerryho layout, včetně těch easter eggů, který, který on tam navkládal a který jako jsou jeho autorské dílo. Hm? Jasně, ano. Je mi jasný, kam to směřuje. Hm? Jo, počkej, Zdeňku. To ne prajmy jako prajmy. Já myslím prajmy jako prajmy. Ten, ten energeťák od polojít z bráchů jsem myslel. Ne tyhle ty prajmy. <laughs> Víš co, jsem myslel v souvislosti s tím kafem, že jo, prostě energeťák, kafe, tak jako si rovnou dáme ochutnávku, takhle jsem to myslel. No, malé nedorozumění. <laughs> No. The only person on the planet who likes to take. Já jsem si říkal, že by zrovna tebe jako nějak zvlášť zajímali jako polojít s energetiáky. Things apart. I don't own the idea of repairing things yourself, or am I the only person who appreciates? Opla malé fopa v pohodě. Jako stane se. It's the beauty of internal hardware. If Casetify went back to the drawing board, purchased a bunch of phones, took them apart, scanned the internals to properly make a teardown skin competitor, mm. bring on the competition. If that's what they did. Spoiler alert, that is not what they did. Do you remember all those mm -hmm. Easter eggs I told you about earlier? While we were scanning this new competition from Casetify, we noticed something interesting on their Galaxy S23 Ultra case, which I happen to have right here. The print quality is extraordinarily subpar, but I think you'll be able to notice what we noticed right here on Casetify's case that Casetify sells on mm. Casetify's website. Glass is glass and glass breaks. I know for sure no. Samsung didn't put that there, so what's my phrase that I use all the time doing on one of Casetify's products? After seeing this, we decided to investigate a little further. Check out this R0807. If you've been around long enough, you'll know that this is a reference to Dbrand's Robots, R-O-B-O-T. And one more, here near this Lego-style ribbon connector, it says CTFY, surrounded by a trio of 11s. 11-11-11 isn't just the day Skyrim came out, it's also the day that Dbrand started their business. Now why would Casetify mm -hmm. include the day that Dbrand was founded on their products? Unless... <laughs> yeah. 
You see where I'm mne bylo, mne, Let's take a look at my gal- mne, mne to bylo, mne, mne to bylo naprosto jasný, jo, jako prostě, jakmile, jak, jakmile Jerry jako prostě řekl, že kdyby to prostě jenom rozebrali a jako opráskli myšlenku, tak prostě schutí do toho a půl je hotovo. Jo, jako v tu chvíli mi bylo jasný, že opráskli jako i něco, co oprásknout úplně neměli. Hm? Nebylo to tak těžký uhodnout. Přitom jako ty moc nechybělo, že? Vygumovat pár hloupých nápisů. Kdyby tam nenechali to glass is glass and glass breaks, tak jako si toho Jerry velmi pravděpodobně nevšimne, protože ten ostatek jako jsou docela drobnosti. Galaxy S23 teardown skin. We have the same 11.11.11 around the subscribe ribbon. And the robot Easter egg is also front and center. Would it surprise you to learn that nearly every single case to five product on my desk right now has at least one of our teardown skin Easter eggs on it? I'm starting to think that case to five's inside out product line isn't as authentic as they say it is. Dbrand was first to notice that our Easter eggs were showing up in Casetify products, and we both couldn't figure out why Casetify would create their own version of Teardown and painstakingly recreate the Jerry Rig Everything Easter eggs. Unless Casetify didn't recreate the Jerry Rig Everything Easter eggs, and the ones that are left are the ones left behind in their rush to ride the Teardown train. To put it another way, maybe Casetify didn't dig- hmm? Číňani skopírují cokoliv a je jim putna zda to je i s nápisama nebo ne, tam se na autorské právo nehraje. To je pravda, Zdeňku, jenomže jako pokud tomu dobře rozumím, tak tady jako já neznám firmu Casetify, jo, jako to přiznám zcela bez mučení rovnou, ale jako předpokládám, že tady jako je vtip právě v tom, že tohle to jako nejsou nějaký blbí čínský piráti. Tohle to je jako podle všeho poměrně renomovaná americká firma, která jako samozřejmě vyrábí v Číně, to je naprosto jasný, nicméně jako jejich konfuciánský mindset by úplně mít nemusela. Digitally recreate my glasses, glass and glass breaks, or Dbrand's pyramid, or the 11.11 watt hours on this Pixel 7 Pro, The Pixel 7 Pro actually has 19.25 watt hours of battery capacity, but Casetify wouldn't know that since they probably didn't even take apart a phone to get this image. And if you squint really hard, you can literally see a cut and paste of Dbrand's logo on Casetify's case. I'm starting to think that these Easter eggs are still here because Casetify didn't realize they were transferring over a decade's worth of inside jokes and connections that I have with all of you as they stole the teardown designs. Okay. Uh, to je docela... Pak, pak je tu tedy problém, že si ten brand, ne, že si ten brand neohlídali. No, t, no, no jasně, Zdeňku, jenomže problém je v tom, že oni, jako, oni neměli patent na tu samotnou myšlenku. Jo, jako oni měli patent jenom na ten... Nebo jako patent. Oni měli prostě jako jenom ten jejich, je, jenom ten jejich konkrétní design. Tak byl jako prostě předmětem autorského práva. Jo, jako tam nešlo o ideu jako takovou, tam šlo jako prostě už o tu konkrétní malůvku. No a jako tu si zjevně ohlídali docela důkladně. Jo, jako prostě vložili do ní ty jo, jako easter eggy, který nejsou na prv, úplně na první pohled patrný, ale jako oni o nich samozřejmě vědí. Takže tu si svým způsobem ohlídali velmi dobře. No. Jako spíš prostě, spíš, spíš prostě jako ta druhá firma si to až tak úplně neohlídala. A já nechápu proč, jo, jako tohle je taková věc, která by je podle mého názoru jako mohla napadnout, jo, že jako prostě, jo, dobrý, OK, tak oprásknu to úplně na hulváta, to je relativně pohodička, ale jako prostě nápisy bych možná jako měl pozměnit nebo radši vymazat. Jo, jako to je taková, jako nápisy jsou taková věc, podle který by to jako ten druhej mohl poznat. No, 
Tak to bylo myšleno, ta druhá firma. Jo, takhle, Zdeňku, OK, dobrý. Tak v tom případě jako bych nic neřekl. Casetify did attempt to remove some of the more obvious easter eggs, but that kind of makes it worse. This is Home Alone's skill levels of thievery, and if you haven't watched that movie, I highly recommend it. You might be thinking to yourself, hey Jerry, why would they do this? After all, isn't it a simple scan the device that you print out and slap on a case? It can't be that difficult. To answer that question, I'm going to open the curtain a little bit and let you see behind the scenes. Ale jako je to úplně jednoduchý, no zkuchat telefon a naskenovat ho je jistě jako poměrně triviální, ale vzít existující design a naskenovat ten je ještě triviálnější. What you're seeing here is a sped up recording of what it looks like to create a teardown scan for the iPhone 15 Pro. We first scan the phone in ultra high 2400 dpi resolution giving us an image up to about 41,000 pixels wide by 30,000 pixels tall. Enough detail to print out on a billboard. Then it takes about 10 hours worth of editing a first draft in Photoshop before producing prototypes, making adjustments, and getting it ready for mass production. Nearly every imperfection gets cleaned up while taking a few creative liberties to spruce up the internals. Like undressing the wireless charging pad so its bare copper coils pop better. Not only is it a lot of work, but we put the same level of attention onto every device in the teardown product line. I'm not kidding when I say we've put over 10,000 hours into editing alone. Check out these example images, what the device looks like in the initial scan and what it looks like after we are finished with it. It's just as much of a work of art as a realistic representation of the internals. The original images are just like what you'd see in one of my teardown videos, and the polished up image in incredible detail, with easter eggs added, is what you'd get with a teardown skin, or on a teardown grip case. It takes a lot of work to make a teardown skin, so I think you can see... No, jako asi tak, ano. Jo, prostě není to, ne, není to jako nic, co by pro velkou a poměrně významnou firmu bylo v nějakým způsobem prohibitivní, ale jako na druhou stranu to není něco, na co by ta firma jako ty peníze úplně toužila utrácet, když jako nemusí, že? See why we are a little upset that a massive company, whose by their own CEO's admission is worth close to a billion dollars, might have just swooped in and copied 10,000 hours worth of work. But there's more. In order for us to confirm our suspicions, Dbrand conducted an experiment. I'm going to show you a video, and on the right is our... Nech mě hádat, vydali jste, nějaký, vydali jste nějakou, ně, nějaký design, který jako neodpovídá realitě, něco je v něm jako prostě charakteristicky pozměněný a čekali jste, jestli jako ta konkurence vydá stejný design, kde bude ta samá chyba, kterou jste tam zanesli záměrně. Our artistically perfected teardown skin for MacBooks, and on the left is Casetify's inside out case for MacBooks. Now, watch as we take the entire chunk of the MacBook teardown and move it over to Casetify's product. You might uh -huh. be surprised to notice how perfectly they match up. Or, considering everything you've seen up to this point, maybe you aren't surprised anymore. We're going to flip between Casetify's image and the one we just made with our teardown skin. We did this for every single one of Casetify's Inside Out products, and sure enough, every single one failed our plagiarism test. Literally. Hmm. Jako dobrý tohle to není úplně přesvědčivý důkaz, protože jako řekněme, že je to zpracovaný v obdobnou technologií a obdobnými metodami jako ty vaše designy, což jako docela lze předpokládat a v takovém případě jako by to vlastně mělo na sebe sedět, pakliže jako jste buď vy nebo oni neudělali nějakou chybu. Jo, jako takže tohle to, jako to je něco, co bych jako na místě toho plagiátora si docela i troufnul obhájit. Jo, jako to, že jsou tam jako otrocky skopírovaný ty vámi přidaný nápisy, mi připadá jako podstatně přesvědčivější důkaz. Really all of these Casetify designs you're looking at from Pixel to Samsung weren't made by Casetify independently taking apart devices and digitally reconstructing their internals, they were made from our teardown designs. 
And to add insult to injury, if you look at Case Defy's website and check out their, I mean, my Galaxy Z Fold 4 case, it looks just like a normal ripoff. But if we zoom in, we notice a random extra camera lens at the top of the picture, a portion of a fourth circle. Turns out it's not just a random camera lens, it's literally the camera from our teardown product image on our product page. So not only did Case Defy steal our teardown products, <laughs> To je opravdu mistrovský dílo, jo. Nejenom, že je to Photoshop, ale ještě je to takhle blbej Photoshop. But we also think they didn't have the decency to buy them first and scan the real thing. It appears as if... Ne, ne, ne. ne. Neříkej, že normálně postahovali v obrázky z vašeho e-shopu a jako úplně na tvrdáka to udělali fakt jako že Photoshop, jo. To ne. As if they went to our teardown product page, right click the image, saved it, and used it for their own profit. And to be fair, this isn't the first time someone has tried to rip off our teardown skin, but Casetify is not a mom and pop shop. They are a global brand with a nearly $1 billion dollar valuation, with a B. Considering their size and cash flow, I don't see why they couldn't just buy a few phones, take it apart, and do the work themselves. And honestly, no. Asi tak, ano. Hm? Jako na prasáka, se na tomu zcela jistě odpovídá. No, asi tak, Zdeňku. Jako je to opravdu, je, je to opravdu udělaný hodně na prasáka. Jako ono, když se, kdy, když se na ty jejich pouzdra podíváš, tak oni jako ani ty tisky nevypadají, že budou jako kdo ví, jaký od vás, co se týče kvality. Takže jako ono to asi bude jako celkově prostě z kategorie se na tomu odpovídá. If they had, I would love it. Competition is a marvelous thing. I know how much work goes into creating a teardown product, and if someone wants to create decent competition, I'm all for it. But hopefully you can see with everything that I've shown you that fair competition isn't the route that Casetify decided to take. So when we had this all figured out, Dbrand and I just had one last question. What do we do about it? I'm not normally a legal action kind of guy, but I also don't get ripped off by billion dollar corporations every day. I could call them out <laughs> no, I know, I on social mean. media, of course, or Dbrand could tweet some witty tweets, but at the end of the day, in this David and Goliath situation, Goliath doesn't have the obligation to remove my products from their website just because I made a video calling them out on it. So instead, mm. we're giving them something they can't ignore, a lawsuit. If you're watching this on the day it's uploaded, and I hope Casetify is, we've officially filed a federal lawsuit against Casetify for copyright infringement as of yesterday morning. Uncle Sam has indeed been notified. The legal system isn't exactly known for its speed and efficiency, especially when dealing with an international company overseas, but when I do have any up... Jo takhle, international company overseas. OK, takže to jsou nějaký zasraný číňaní. Hm, dobrý. Tak, já myslím, Jerry, že jako na to můžeš v klidu zapomenout. Theft is just not cool, and I think the biggest way we can teach Casetify a lesson is with a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Getting hit in the wallet is what hurts these giant corporations the most. There is a real possibility that no one wins here. I think they stole something, and I think they know they stole something, but the wheels of justice turn extremely slowly. And if by chance we do win, you won't find me in a new Ferrari or a private jet. I'll turn Case Defy's thievery <laughs> into furnishing my wheelchair manufacturing facility with laser cutters, CNC mandrel benders, and just give away wheelchairs for free as long as I can. For the past three years... Dobrý. Jako... Gigachet, pičo. I've thrown every extra penny I have at my wheelchair manufacturing business, and if we win anything, I'll continue to do just that. I don't know what Dbrand's gonna do with their cut, obviously. Maybe buy a hot air balloon with my face on it, or build a life-size pyramid in their parking lot. Something strange, probably. But for me, it's not about <laughs> the money, it's about the message. Don't right-click my stuff. Lawsuits aren't cheap, though, and normally I would say if you want to help us thwart thievery, you could just buy a teardown skin. But I imagine most of you watching this probably already have one. So Dbrand and I created something a little special instead. An all-new x-ray skin. 
It's a state of the art oh. method of getting the To je docela pěkný. The incredible real details of the insides on the outsides. You can think of it as Teardown's monochromatic cousin. Check out the pen detail on the USB-C charging port of the S23 Ultra or the leads on the speaker inside the iPad Pro. Or even better yet, mm -hmm. the Tyhle vypadají cool, no, jako to docela jo. Turbo fans and vapor chamber on the MacBook. Unlike Teardown, where we physically disassemble a device and run it through a high DPI scanner, this time around we take the device to a metrology lab, where we use a one-of-a-kind x-ray machine that's normally used to scan minuscule parts in the assembly of spacecraft. Literal Aha. rocket science. And you Takže... Takže to jsou reální jako rentgenový snímky těch zařízení, ty jo, to je hodně cool. Can't get a more hmm. in-depth look than that. If you want a behind the scenes look of how that x-ray machine works, let me know if that's a kind of video you want to see. And I haven't even shown you the best part yet. Light mode, and you don't even have to pick. For a limited time, buy either shade of the x-ray skins and we'll give you the other for free. Except for you, case to buy. Hmm. Not that you ever bought anything in the first. Akorát já používám kožená pouzdra, takže by to ostatní asi neocenili. No já nepoužívám pro jistotu žádná pouzdra, takže jako to máme více méně společný. Co ještě jednou? Except for you, case to buy. Not that you ever bought anything in the first place. They'll probably just right click and save. Again, if you want to support the channel and our fight against an unprincipled behemoth or just want the coolest looking device on the planet, I'll leave a link for these x-ray skins down in the video description. And thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around. Ne, jako tohle to, to, tohle to je prostě prasárna, jo, jako to se nedělá takovýhle věci. Dobrý, že by mu tam hážu like, tak... A podíváme se v druhé části, co na to duklok.